Okay, welcome to the fam Jackson family table. And what we're gonna do right now, uh, the portion of our spaghetti dinner, is that we've got two pounds of ground beef that we have, uh, we have browned and we have drained off the oil of it. And you can see here that we have no oil in there. And so what we're gonna do now, we have uh, Bartoli's Vineyard uh, Marinara Sauce. And we're gonna pour the entire contents of this jar into there. And we also have Prego flavored with meat. We've mixed that in too as well. Once again, the entire jar going in. Okay, let's fill that up there. So I'll turn my heat on. And what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and incorporate that in there. And what some people like to do, they like to also um, brown some chopped garlic, not garlic or onion to your taste, you can also do that. But what we're doing here, we're just combining these two sauces in with our ground beef, and that will make up the sauce portion of our spaghetti dinner. And we love these two flavors because they go together really, really well. You don't have to add much salt or pepper to this mixture. It does very, pretty well, so I'm just gonna get that all incorporated there. Okay, we'll let that heat through. And also, because the sauce is already pre-cooked, all thing we're really gonna do is just basically just heat this sauce through and just to get it to incorporate in with the uh, ground beef. And then once we get that all done, we're gonna add in this entire box of 16 ounce Barilla pasta. Oh, we love Barilla pasta. This stuff is really, really good. Cook for about eight minutes boiling uh, till it gets about al dente. And we're gonna dump that in and then we'll be ready to combine the sauce with the spaghetti. So we'll go ahead and just mix this up just a little bit. Okay, I'll just reduce my heat down just a little bit. Move to about a fire once I've got it cooking. Okay, great. And so folks, we'll go from there, let this heat through just a little bit, and then we'll get the water boiling and add in our pasta in just a few moments. <music> Okay, also along with our dinner, we also have some zucchini that we have chopped up. And we'll go ahead and put into our about three tablespoons of olive oil. Go ahead and get that in there. Let's split these guys out. And what I'll do, I'll go ahead and let them brown on one side, and then I'll flip them over and let them brown on the other side. I'll say about three minutes per side and that should do it. Hi guys, welcome to the Jackson family table. Pull up a seat and join us. I hope you guys have some good food tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and serve up my family. Whoa, yeah, that looks this good. is some yummy spaghetti. My husband so graciously made dinner tonight. Looks so good, oh yum. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, would you like to make your guys' plate? You guys are starving, you guys hungry? Mm. Mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ground beef. And the spaghetti with the cheese is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm having a 
broccoli spaghetti dinner. Yeah, the kids started back to school last week. So, we're having to adjust our schedule. Going to bed earlier, getting up earlier. How's school been going, Amy? Good. Good? You tell them what grade you're in? I'm in fifth grade. We don't eat a lot of sugar in our family, so we don't usually make desserts with our dinner. It just doesn't set well with my body. But after this breaks down, I'll have enough sugar, right? Yeah. This is really good. Really good. I need to mow the grass this week. Yeah, we do. Oh, look, don't worry. <laughs> no, I'm looking at all the grass. I'm usually the one who mows the grass. In the summer. No, you summer. do mow. You do. And occasionally Chloe will go out there. Well, and also Haley. I has cut the grass a few times too. Mm. You know what? How do you guys feel about that? About what? When I was a kid, my dad never, ever let me touch a lawnmower as a girl. And I think, how in the world? I have three daughters. We have no boys. So my girls, they've never been taught. Oh, there's chores for boys and chore, chores for girls. We just all pitch in as a family and do what it needs to do to make make everything run smoothly for everybody. Have you ever felt that, Bethany? Mm-mm. I remember when Chloe was like 11 or something and she just got there one day and just started pushing the mower. <laughs> she pulled the cord, the mower started, and she started pushing it, and next thing you know, she and that was her idea. Right. She did that on her own. She sure did. But, Anthony, do you think that most things that your dad has taught you to do, that you can do as a girl, you don't need to exactly have? I mean, I never really felt like what I was doing was more masculine or more towards a gender role of, I guess, men, but. Um, it's just me spending time with my dad. It's just kind of how I saw it when I was younger. But now oh, when I'm yeah. looking back on it, it just makes me feel like... It was helpful. Yeah. Like it was just useful information for regardless, for like anyone regardless of their gender, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. Also, I appreciate hearing his help. Cause she always helps me to put together like things that come in boxes. Mm -hmm. We've done a couple of projects together. Mm -hmm. And some fun projects are the little robots. You know the robots you made, Haney? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh, but you guys put together those um, dressers and mm. she got put together back in that um, headboard her bed. Yeah. Mm. That was really cool. So Haney's got a minute for me with how to put things together. Tell us what you guys would like to see. Well, this channel started out, I've been debating and wanting to do this for a long, long time. 
And um, channel started out as we eat dinner together as a family anyway. I love, love, love to cook. I make all our meals from scratch and we all cook, all of us cook together. And my dream growing up was to always be on the Food Network, to be like a Food Network chef or star. And I thought, I chose to stay home with my kids and raise them. And at this stage of life, I'm like, what do I do? Everybody's growing up and having their own lives. And I said, well, I still cook for my family. I still love to cook. That hasn't changed. And I figured maybe I could get a YouTube family that would enjoy, you know, pulling a seat up to our table and watching what we prepare. And maybe we can learn something from them and they can learn something from us. And it'll just be a, a good relationship. So I think I'm, I'm looking forward to this channel. Yeah, Spending just... time with my family and, and, and just getting to know some people out there. I know you guys are wonderful people and I just want to, you know, read your comments and see what you have to say and just have that connection to the outside world. Yeah. Not really. It's also in the comments you might be able to just share with us some of the ideas that you guys love to do. Mm hmm Tell us what you want to make. What's want us to cook what you like to see. Cause I have a a cookbook that I have written and um, I'll put a link below if any of you guys are interested in ordering one of my cookbooks I just charge basically the price of printing because I can't just print them for free so you know just this little cookbook that I made up is called Jackson Family Favorites and if you guys would like one just comment below or I'll put my email address and you can let me know and I'll get you guys a copy You know, from, from time to time, we may even cook and prepare some of the recipes from mm -hmm. the book. Yep. Are you guys all done eating? Mm -hmm. All right, I think I got one more bite. Yeah, me too. We're all done eating. Mm -hmm. And I've actually used some of the recipes in my dorm cooking. Oh, uh, when you went down for college? You yeah, in the kitchenette. Like one of the dishes I would make was um, the spaghetti that we've been eating, and it's pretty convenient to make it, especially in like the cramped, confined living space in the dorm. Mm -hmm. So it's great to like brown the ground beef and then do all the steps and then have all the stuff in one pot wow. or two containers, mm -hmm. really. Thank you. I'm Paul. Thank you so much for making this fabulous dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> I should have brought some napkins out. We appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring on that notification bell. Mm -hmm. So that you guys can be informed and notified when we have another video. Yep. Thank you so much for joining us, for sharing our table with us. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.